morning everyone this is Shaitali Ba chief of bureau with aviation and defense universe day three reporting live from defense and security 2022 Bangkok and this morning I begin my day with Boeing mm -hmm. I have with me YT Pak, the regional director Southeast Asia from Boeing and Simon Lee from Institute a Boeing company which looks after the UAV section he is the business development executive of Asia Pack. Welcome, gentlemen, and thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for thank you for taking <coughs> taking the time to interview us. Uh, we're very happy and, and uh, glad to be participating in this uh, uh, Thailand Defense uh, uh, Security 2022. I think it's an exciting show, exciting time uh, and for Boeing Company to be represented here. Uh, an area, Southeast Asia in particular, uh, we see a tremendous growth. And, uh, you know, we started with the UAVs uh, 10 years ago, uh, but now we have a lot of opportunities on the vertical left front uh, here with AH6 coming in in a couple of years. So we have uh, also uh, successfully sold weapons, harpoons to be specific, uh, along with UAVs, uh, um, uh, blackjack integrated, which uh, Simon will talk about. So those are some of the key products that we are uh, pitching in Thailand specifically. But recently too, I believe um, there are a lot of potential for Southeast Asia uh, to grow in the defense market. Whether it's Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, all the 10 Southeast Asian countries, uh, Boeing is uh, here, uh, we are present, and we want to continue to help uh, Southeast Asian country to have enough capacity to be able to defend their country, their sovereignty, and that's what the Boeing is all about. And Boeing focus is not to simply sell the product and, and, and leave. We are here to stay in a long-term investment, uh, develop partnership. As we develop more uh, defense sales, that could turn into more industry collaboration on the defense sector and uh, commercial sector. As you know, Boeing is a, a huge company, uh, one Boeing, commercial, defense, and global services. So I believe we have a lot of potential. We want to partner with Southeast Asia. We believe this is a very important uh, market, and we are here to stay. Great. Why think from you, I would like to know, since you already told us a lot about Boeing, Boeing's presence in the Southeast mm -hmm. Asia, how important is Defense and Security 2022 or Thailand is for Boeing? It is very important, as I said, specifically to uh, Taiwan. We've sold the uh, H-6, uh, eight of them is coming in soon. We have sold weapons, right? We have sold UAV, uh, specifically integrated. Um, so those are key uh, things that we have already done. But furthermore, I think for the future, we're going to have opportunity to satellite, a commercial satellite that may turn into the defense sector as well, cover the defense sector. Uh, we believe there may be some market for the fighter too in the future. Uh, so those are, and uh, maybe trainer, uh, combat, uh, uh, light combat aircraft trainer. So all those things are uh, potential opportunities. That's why I believe this uh, uh, Defense Security 2022 is immensely important for Boeing to participate and uh, in future have even more uh, robust presence than we have now. So how has these last two years, the COVID years, affected Boeing's business in this region? Say again? How has this uh, last two years, the COVID years, mm -hmm affected the business of Boeing in this region? I think, you know, uh, commercial sector may have uh, got some uh, uh, challenges, but mm -hmm. we are coming through that as well. People, people are flying, and yeah. as I kind of flew into this uh, show, it's like seems like everything's back to normal, which is good. As far as defense sector is concerned, I think uh, uh, we have been pretty good, very steady. Uh, mm -hmm. Every country, you know, stability geopolitics of the region, South China Sea, um, Ukraine issues, all those does put some emphasis that each country must have enough, uh, you know, weapons or you know, uh, platforms uh, to be able to defend defend themselves. And so, uh, defense sector has been pretty steady. I must say. I'm sure the contracts must not have stopped. But talking about the production during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it might have got affected because, see, yeah. contracts, people, uh, countries do want security. Countries mm -hmm. do want their equipments for the defense. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to production, mm -hmm. during the COVID time, definitely it must have got hit. Yes, I believe in the, in the manufacturing sector yeah. and in the production lines, 
of the weapons, there's some supply uh, chain issues, mm -hmm. some delay some production. But the, by and large, we do plan ahead. So I think we were able to address those issues and not to be uh, too affected on in terms of production line, meeting the deadline, whatever you, we have a plan in place to be able to kind of, you know, uh, address that issue. So I think uh, we've been pretty successful to overcome the, even the pandemic that we had. That's great, Whitey. Mm -hmm. Now coming to Simon, we'll talk about UAVs, the in thing in defense now. Okay. So what about, tell us about the market of UAV and the Southeast market of the UAVs. Sure. Yeah, I mean UAVs uh, are getting a lot of attention. Um, you know, it's it's you know for a variety of different reasons. Um, I mean, operationally speaking, it's always good to have uh, you know um, you know good ISR, you know, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capability. Uh, you know, to you know to go in tandem with with combat uh, you know, equipment. Um, and you know the because the region is uh, very dynamic. Um, and the security interests of the respective governments in this region um, are, you know, evolving very rapidly. Um, they certainly have clearly outlined a need for, uh, you know, advanced capabilities for UAVs. Um, for the, our excitement towards this market, uh, you know, stems largely, in my opinion, from the dynamic uh, defense relationship that the United States has you know, with the Thai government as well as, well as with the governments of, uh, of Southeast Asia. Um, we do regard this market as uh, you know, a growing one um, and you know, one with uh, significant potential for growth. Um, 2022 has been a really you know, good year for us with Thailand. Uh, back in May, we successfully delivered the RQ-21A Blackjack UAV uh, to the Royal Thai Navy. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's been very much a success story. Um, uh, our friends at the Thai Navy are very happy with the product, as well as with uh, the services that we're providing them, uh, both for training as well as, uh, maintenance, as, well as maintenance. Um, and just, I would say, across the board, um, you know, for me personally, looking at Defense and Security 2022, it's a significant event. It's the first in-person event in, in, in a couple of years, uh, you know, because of the pandemic. And so it's uh, very gratifying to be able to attend it in person. So, Simon, let's talk about UAVs and the Defense and Security 2022. Going around, definitely, I saw a few more companies. There was an Indian, there's an Indian company as well who sure. is venturing and who are doing UAVs and getting a lot of attention. So... How do you feel about it? Where does Boeing stands with their competitors here? Well, you know, I mean, the the UAV market is big, um, you know, both in the region as well as in Europe and North America, etc. Um, I, I would say that you know we are certainly you know aware of uh, um, other companies that you know produce and and, and sell UAVs in this market. Um, many of them make very good products. Um, I would say that you know. Uh, there are areas where we, you know, can be in direct competition, but I would also say that, uh, to a large extent, um, our products, uh, you know, uh, have significant strengths where they are, and um, I, I kind of look at it as uh, not necessarily crossing the line so much. Um, I, I do, you know, I would definitely say that we are very competitive in the categories of UAV that we, that we have our strengths in. Great. Now, gentlemen, I would like to ask from both of you, yeah. of course, one by one, first to Whitey. Mm -hmm. um, next year, defense and security, yeah. one we have. What can we expect from Boeing? Of course, the participation, and I think we're certainly going to have more uh, personnel uh, coming to it. Uh, we may have uh, even uh, looking toward having a, uh, a booth of certain size. Uh, so that we can do more than what we've done this year. But I think, you know, uh, despite that, though, we were able to have a lot of good productive engagement. Uh, but I can assure you that uh, probably next year, as a Boeing company, uh, will come in a little bit uh, stronger than presence that we have this, uh, this year. Does Boeing have any specific plans for the coming year for the region? Um, 
meaning another air shows. I mean, yes, we do have, in fact, they're talking about air show. We will be going into Indonesia, Indo Defense in November. That we will definitely have a pretty good sized booth and more, much more uh, participant than, than here. Uh, we are looking at potentially participating in the Vietnam uh, security show that would be in December. Uh, we've always uh, taken, uh, participated in Singapore air show in yeah. very uh, large big, number. That is the biggest one in the region. But I see uh, uh, Malaysia was also is coming back mm -hmm. with DSA and Lima. Really and we have really taken uh, participated in those events. And I, and I was there uh, in April was it, uh, for the Philippine uh, Defense Show as well. So uh -huh. uh, me being the regional director of Southeast Asia, yeah. uh, definitely want to have more focus in this region. And Boeing, um, as Boeing as a whole, we're going commercial defense and BGS, Boeing Global Services, together as one Boeing, uh, will participate more strongly going forward in Southeast Asia. Right. So, Simon, are we looking for any um, more defense contracts from the ministries of the Southeast Asia in the coming year? Um, I would, I mean, if I were to give a very simple answer, it would be yes. I mean, I, I you know, I think that. Um, the, the militaries of this region are very, very good end users and customers. Um, you know, we have very good partnerships with several of them, um, and we also work very closely with uh, the U.S. military uh, through the you know, foreign military finance and foreign military sales process. Um, and I would say, you know, looking across the board, um, you know, it's an exciting year. Um, I, I personally believe next year will be just as exciting, if not more so. Um, and, you know, Institute's uh, UAV products um, yeah, very much, in my opinion, uh, embody the strengths uh, and the capabilities that the region needs, particularly in terms of the maritime domain awareness capabilities. Great. Gentlemen, I am sure and I'm very hopeful that the next year will be a very promising one for Boeing and for all of us since the world is coming back from the pandemic. And uh, next year, Defense and Security 2022, when I'm sure I will meet you guys again and all the shows that, uh, YT, you mentioned, yes. we will be there. The Vietnam, the Lima and the um, Philippines, Indian all defense. Indian defense, definitely. We, ADU, will meet you there definitely again, Absolutely. and uh, there will be more to discuss at that time. Absolutely. I'm Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen, and it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.